Hey guys, Norman McGregor on uh, the Haida Gwaii for our, our island adventure. All right, it's July and it's hot. Um, the, got the pool set up and uh, I'm really glad. Okay, this is my Coleman above ground. It is 12 feet wide, 20 feet, 22 feet long, and it's 54 inches deep. It holds 7,000 gallons of water. Uh, that is a beautiful pool. Okay, this thing is stunning. We put it in last year. This is our second year of use, and uh, this uh, easiest pool I've ever put in because of the way we did it. What I did is I took the pool and I converted it into a saltwater pool rather than a chlorinated pool, and the difference in maintenance is phenomenal. So I'm going to show you what I did, and the nice thing with going with the saltwater system and the changes that I've done, the water in the pool is crystal clear. All right guys, for easy access, we've got our pool set right up to the back steps, right adjacent to the deck, which is really nice because it also adds protection to the upgraded pump that I put in. So this is the Intec crystal clear sand filter with salt water uh, purification system added to it. This makes the maintenance on the pool incredibly less and it's very very efficient so let's go take a look at it all right guys so this is the Intec sand filter and this is a 3,000 gallon per hour sand filter so on our pool which is 7,000 gallons it takes roughly two and a half hours to do a complete cycle of the water and I set it for five so it basically purifies the water twice in that cycle every day, which is really, really nice. Uh, on this one, we've got the salt water attachment. What that does is that uses electronics and you add salt to the pool. In our case, we add 160 pounds of salt to the pool because it's 7,000 gallons. And what the salt does in electronics, it actually purifies the water. So there's no need to put chlorine in your pool, which makes it stink. It's very costly. And it ruins your bathing suits, ruins your hair, and you come out smelling like chlorine. This pool, when you go in and come out, you smell, well, you smell better than when you went in, but uh, it's, you don't come out smelling like chlorine, I'll tell you, which is really nice. This pump has a pre-filter. Uh, so basically any large sticks, stones, or sticks, uh, leaves, that kind of stuff gets caught in there. Uh, once, maybe twice a season, I clean that out. The water comes in from the pool, goes into the sand filter. The sand filter takes out virtually everything else. The water gets pumped out through the salt water system. Uh, the electronics are added to the water purifies the water going back out and poof goes back out into the pool. Operation wise there's a control panel on it. It's very easy to operate. There's an off on switch for the pump. There's a for the salt water cleaning system. There's an off on button. Each one is programmed for time. If you want it to run for five hours you press it five times. If you want this to run for two hours, you press it for two, so it'll run for a total of five hours, and two of it, it'll run the salt water purification system. Uh, they work hand in hand, uh, very easy to work. There's a couple other buttons here. These are maintenance items. Um, you set them up when you first do it. It follows the instructions in the manual. It's quite easy. And basically what it does, it also keeps, if you've got hard water, the electronic plates in the salt water system are automatically cleaned and basically you don't have to worry about it. It's lovely. Just basically two years now, no maintenance. Lovely. Okay, over there is the little pump that originally came with the pool. 1,200 gallons, I would have had to run that thing for nine hours to even get one cycle of the pool. Um, yeah, no, quite a difference. This has made a big, big difference. All right, guys, so this is my next addition that I added, and this is a skimmer. And what this does is this actually plugs right into the sand filter that I just showed you. 
and it what it does it attracts all the water off the top and it goes through this filter basket and it catches all the stuff that's floating on the top all right guys so with the filter running what happens is you can actually see the water coming over the lip of the uh, skimmer and it's actually you can see the debris in there that it's collecting all that material will go down into the basket and all I got to do is just pull it out and you can see the top of this pool is totally crystal clear okay now let's go talk about this big robotic hose in the pool what's it doing in there all right guys so I'm up in the deck and as you can see this 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 is a pretty massive pool okay 22 feet long, 12 feet wide, 7,000 gallons. It's a big pool. You can actually do you know, quite a few strokes to get from one end to the other. So, but Norm, what's that big monster hose you got down in the bottom there? What's he doing? Okay, well, let's go take a look. First of all, if you live in a place where there's lots of these things, trees, okay, you're going to end end up with a lot of debris on the bottom of the pool and cleaning it is, is a pain okay you guys you've used you know they, get, they give you these stupid little dip nets and little brushes and you know, they, they you can get vacuums and stuff like that and which I'm going to show you the one that I use but this actually takes out 90% of the material what I've got it done is what I've got it doing is this thing is running all the time and what he does he's just floating down there and he'll go back and forth and back and forth and move around okay and basically what he's doing is he's taking water in from the bottom of the pool running it out the back goes through the heaters and it gets all cycled through the heaters and all the way through and it comes back into the pool so you got nice warm clear water coming back into the pool and what he does is he virtually gets rid of about 90 percent of the material that's ever conjugating in the bottom of the pool and as you can see it, it's not much but for uh, the stuff that actually gets stuck in the corner or under the ladder i'll show you what i use for that all right guys so this is my intec vacuum cleaner pool vac you got a nice long handle, you got the attachment, it's got a bag inside, catches all the material, it's got a nice wide uh, opening, so it sucks all the stuff in. It's very easy to operate. Basically, you take this end, he goes into the pool, just like so. Okay, and what I do is I hook him on the end of that big monster down there. And what he does is he sucks, instead of sucking water from the bottom of the pool, he sucks water through the vacuum, goes through the heat, the filter, the heater, and it comes out the other side. And then all you do is you take this guy, when he's full of water, okay, add the vacuum to the pool, you run him back and forth along the bottom, just like this. See how he works? And he just sucks up all the dirt out of the pool, if there's any in there. The little robot arm, he does 99, 99% of it. This vacuum, I've only used it twice, and we set it up this long weekend of May. It's uh, July 4th, so I've only vacuumed it twice in that time and that was just for aesthetics. Nice tool, this is very easy to use, but that saves a lot of time. All right guys, so let's talk about heating. So here's my big monster hose that floats around in the pool, okay? When we swim, I just push him over to the side, he's no big deal. What he's doing is he's sucking cold water off the bottom of the pool, and he's going through a pump, and it comes out over in that far corner, and that water is like about seven to eight degrees warmer than the pool water. So in a full day, the 
cool temperature can go up as much as we've had it at more than 10 degrees, which is really, really nice. So basically, it comes here. Now this pump might create a bit of noise, but hopefully we can do this. So here we got the cold water coming in, comes through the wall here of the pool, goes down into the pump. Again, this is the 1200 gallon pump that came with the original pool, so I didn't waste it. Comes out here and goes into the solar heaters. These are game solar heaters. Um, last year we had two, this year I added three more, so we've got five now. And basically the water comes in, flows into the first one, which starts heating. Gets transferred into the second one, goes through, up, down, up, down, through to the next one, and on and on. And each time it goes through each one of the heaters, it start, it's adding heat to the water goes through to the last one and then the last one he comes back up through the hole in the pool and here you got nice warm water coming into the pool constantly all day long every day the pump uses 100 watts of power so basically it's not very much nice but I'm going to show you a trick that even makes it even cheaper and better. Alright guys, so if you've seen my videos before, you know that we do run solar power here. I've got 1.5 kilowatts of solar up on top of the roof. And I've got another 1.5 kilowatts of power on top of the woodshed. That gives me a total of 3 kilowatts of power. And that gives me way more than enough energy in the summertime to run my house and to run the pool. The pool, we were always generating way more power than we ever use. And uh, the pool gives us the opportunity to actually use some of that. We're actually still not using all the power, okay? Because we still get a full battery charge by usually around 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, so we still get lots and lots of power and... Uh, the pool runs basically energy free. Okay guys, so one of the biggest pains of this pool that I found before I found a solution to it was the cover. The cover is something that uh, can actually be a nightmare. I tried to watch a lot of videos on this and they say that it, uh, well, it'll never look like the picture that you uh, see on the manual, okay, or the box. It's all nice and tight, you know, and wrinkle-free. Um, well, I actually found a way to do that, and that's with using these PVC pipes. Let me show you that. Okay, guys, so what I've got is I've got a 2-inch uh, PVC pipe, thick wall, and inside of it I've got an inch and a half so that I can use that as a lever to roll this thing back and forth. So now, standard. This is where it gets interesting. This cover standard comes with these strings. And basically you're supposed to put them through, tie them up, and every time you want to get in and out the pool, you got to undo them all, take them all off. You've got to go all the way around. There's three on the front, three on the back, five on each side. It, take, it would take me at least 20 minutes to put the cover on and take the cover off. Now I can do it in less than five minutes, and this is what I use. Okay, these are bungee cords, and bungee cords make it really, really simple. As you can see, I can take this cover and look how easy it rolls. Okay, it rolls down, rolls, rolls. Okay, when you get down to you where get to an area where you've got one of the grommets, here's a grommet hole. Okay, you just reach down, grab your bungee cord, and you pull it up, and it comes through the back of the hole. Always go through the back of the hole, because otherwise you're going to have the sharp part of the hook rubbing against the side of the pool, and that would be bad. You'll just get a leak in no time. Hook it through, just like so. Done. And this is a self-tensioning system now. What happens is, when I do the other side, it's going to pull this nice and tight and 
you're going to be wrinkle free. And I'm going to show you that once I get it all hooked up. All right, guys, here we go. Do the cover. Here we go. Run, roll, run, roll, run, roll. It's just really nice and simple. Once you get to the first grommet, grab your bungee, hook it up. Go around the other side and do the same. Alright guys, so there we go. Look at the wheels done. Nice and tight. Cover. Basically what happens with these guys is the bungee cord actually they they constantly put a pressure on and constantly there's don't forget there's one on the other side. So they're actually pulling against each other, constantly keeping the top tight. So as you go along, every one is doing this. So whether it's raining and this gets full of water and heavy, okay? The bungee cords will actually keep it tight so that the water will run out. If you notice, there's little holes here, like here, okay? So there's, there's basically one every, looks like about every three feet, okay? Plus there's a bunch in the middle, okay? So any water that's on top will drain back into the pool. And if it rains, it's gonna drain into the pool and it saves on adding water too to the pool which is really really nice so we haven't added any water this year we've only lost maybe maybe uh, a piece of an inch or so uh, and it's hot it's really hot and uh, this cover keeps the heat in at night time so you're not getting into a nice cold pool in the morning and uh, by using these bungee cords it's simple and easy it's maintenance maintenance is what pools kill most people and uh, this is makes it really really easy all right guys so once you got the cover on how do you get it off well did you see we got the bungee cords here and they just unhook really easy so I put the two inch pipe on top just set it on the top it's got the reinforcing one and a half inch on the inside for durability and basically what I do is I unhook this guy and then what I do is I wrap him around the pipe, like so. And when he's wet, he'll actually stick to the pipe. And then what I do is I go all the way down and do the same thing. So let me put you on a tripod and do that. All right guys, so once you got the first one off and you wrap it like so, okay? You just hang on to it as you go along. Undo the next one, wrap him as you go. Undo this guy, wrap him as he goes. Okay, and you get to the corner, the corners have hooks on them. Hook those over, put it under, and then you just start rolling. How easy is that? So I'll show you how long it takes. Okay guys, for sake of speed, what I do is I'm gonna do, now I've got the front end done, undone, and it's on the roll. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to undo three hooks on each side so that it doesn't fall into the middle. And then I'm going to roll down and I'll undo these guys, the two on the other side, and then finish the roll. So let me show you how that works.
and there how simple is that uh, that took just a couple of minutes all right guys so that's how I set up my pool very very easy to maintain solar panels help keep the pool nice and nice and warm uh, again it, this is a big pool 7,000 gallons um, that would usually require a ton of work and this pool virtually requires uh, I, I'm gonna say if if I spend 15 minutes a month on it um, I, I'd probably be exaggerating that's probably way too much so vacuuming it is super easy makes it really easy if you get in the pool and do it rather than trying to do it from outside the pool just a tip uh, the sand filter with the salt water makes keeping this pool crystal clear uh, just super super easy for all you people that say you have to cost you a lot of money in chemicals uh, electricity no you can run this thing off of solar very easily chemicals is non-existent you don't use any chemicals none zero you may have to add some muric, muric acid if the pH levels get too high but honestly if you just run the oxygenating system on the pump it'll take that back down naturally so you don't have to basically add anything you throw four nine dollar bags of salt in it at the beginning of the season and that is the only thing you add to this pool other than water this is a, a very very efficient pool even the people that delivered it per later driver actually his wife actually came by and wanted to know it because they have the identical pool and they just live not that far from here and they wanted to see the setup with uh, the salt water and the solar panels and they couldn't believe uh, the difference because their pool they say they, they got a shock at all the time it's big dollars and chemicals trying to keep it clean the water's always turning green uh, nope do it this way and uh, you got maintenance free I did nothing last year and I say this year I'm going to be doing the same right, guys so while the pool may look clean and sparkly you always want to make sure it is and for that I use one of these pool test kits so I'm going to show you how this works and I'm going to show you the quality of the water in our pool right now all right guys so this is one of the test strips out of the kit and you'll see that the color on it we've got a white a yellow kind of a yellowy orange and then kind of a pale green that's what they look like when you first get them but what you want them to do is you want them to look like this and you'll see in the middle is the okay range all the way down and when we soak this strip into the pool it's actually going to show you what these look like so let's take a look and you have to do this within 15 seconds so you dip it in for two seconds Pull it out, measure it, and make sure it's good. So let's do that. All right, guys, here goes the test strip into the water. We go one and two, and the water comes out. And if we look, we have a perfect sanitizer. We have a perfect uh, whatever alkalinity. Our pH is perfect, and so is our water hardness. How nice is that? This water is crystal clear and ready to go. All right guys, so this is my super low maintenance solar powered pool. Cheap to run, not a lot of work to look after, and uh, you spend your time enjoying the pool in the summer instead of looking after it. Okay guys, Norm McGregor on Alzheimer's Way for On the Venture. Take care.